Hey there, guys. How's it going? It's your boy, Don Lee, coming back at you. And yes, if you saw my poll, um, one of my professors told me that if you can get an interview after 200 applications, you are doing pretty good. And so with that being said, I think I read somewhere like once you get to the interview stage, the average chances are like between 5 and 10% of actually getting the job. So I figure if it's going to take up to 200 applications, I might as well do what I can to increase those odds from 5 to 10% to say maybe 20 or 30 or maybe even a higher percentage. And with that being said, there are generally two parts to an interview, especially when going for like a tech job, like even like data analyst or business analyst, and that's the behavioral part and the technical part. Now, as far as the behavioral aspect of the interview, I feel pretty confident in that part. But when it comes to the technical part, this is where I really want to start reviewing uh, what are some common uh, SQL interview questions, coding interview questions. And so to kind of increase my odds of landing a job when I do get to the interview stage, I figure I'll start making a series of videos kind of discussing the various types of interview questions that may be asked. And I'm just going to limit to one interview question per video to keep the video from getting too long. And so I'm going to start off with a fairly easy interview question. And that's going to be, what is the difference between using the where clause and the having clause? So the where clause is used to filter records uh, from a table. So a good example might be, so let's say I'm uh, extracting data from a, a table named country, and I've got all these different countries here, and maybe I want to filter the results to only return the values of those of being countries that begin with the letter A. And so that's where you would use uh, the where clause. Now the having clause is used to like filter uh, groups of data. It's like, so when you use like an aggregate function like count, min, max, average, and you get return, you get uh, uh, groupings uh, as a result, that's where the having clause comes in is you can uh, filter out uh, the groupings of uh, results that you get back. And I'm going to give a demonstration of that. So first off, we're going to demonstrate using the where clause. So I don't want to select all these countries here. I only want to select the countries that begin with the letter B. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to make sure, I'm going to try to make this more readable from country where name like and this is where I got to make sure I put the percentage symbol well, so it begins with B and I put the percentage wildcard there so it doesn't matter what comes after the letter B I just want to find out what countries begin with the letter B so go ahead and let's go ahead and run that all right so these are all the different countries that begin with the letter B so that's an example of using the where clause as I'm filtering which rows are going to be returned. Now, the having clause is where you're kind of grouping the, uh, that's going to be, so first of all, I got to demonstrate uh, using a group by uh, clause in here. So, for instance, let's say I want to find out what the average life expectancy is per continent. So, I'm going to go ahead and select, so I'm going to go ahead and put continent, continent and then let's see I'm going to put average life expectancy from country and then I'm going to go group by so I'm going to group by continent okay so hopefully I don't get any errors here okay I got an error here common mistake I make is typos. That's probably my biggest mistakes I tend to make are... Okay, so when I group by continent, the average life expectancy is, of course, North America is 72, 67, but this is pretty old data. I'm sure it's probably a little higher by now. Okay, so now this is where I'm going to use the having clause. So here, here are the results I have. So now I want to filter these results. 
that's where the having clause comes into play. So let's say I'm only concerned with uh, continents that have an average life expectancy of, say, greater than 70. So now what I do is so, so Oceania should not be returned, Africa should not be returned, but the other should be returned. So that's where I'm going to put the having clause in here. So having, and then average, I'm just going to, I'm just going to paste it, copy and paste that. That way I don't risk making a bunch of typos. Greater than or equal to 70. And then I select that. And there you have it. So now only those continents with an average life expectancy are returned. So that is the difference between using the where clause and the having clause. And yes, you can use both a where clause and a having clause within the same query. So let's just say I'm not concerned with North America. Let's just say I don't really, you know, care much, you know, to know about the popular, the average life expectancy because it's generally pretty high. So if I wanted to throw in a where clause in here, I could throw, I could just say from country and then where continent, I make sure I'm spelling my continent not equal to North America. Okay, now get it. Cool. All right. And so now when I run this, I should probably not see North America in there. Oop. Okay, look. Continent. Con yeah, like I said, typos are my biggest mistake. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's run that again. Okay, so why is North America still in there? Or continent not equal to North America. Uh, new one, so I can tell you. I should I should probably take a typing class. <laughs> there we go. So Europe and South America. So there you have it. I have given a, an example of using the where clause, the having clause, and using a combination of the two. And with that being said, based on my performance here, I would say I did pretty good. But uh, yeah, maybe I should take some typing tutorials to work on my typing skills. But aside from that, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And I will be back soon with another typical or common SQL interview question. Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for watching. Peace.